Hi, I'm Brian with AWS Professional Services. Today, as part of our series on continuous monitoring in GovCloud, we're going to talk about how to create JIRA issues upon creation of EBS volumes. To start, we'll go to the GitHub page where our code has been released and click on the folder for create JIRA issues. You'll see here in the README describing how we are going to create the solution using CloudFormation, but there are a few prerequisites we need to cover first. First, we need to make sure we have a parameter in Systems Manager specifying our JIRA password. So let's open Systems Manager, and you can see here I have a parameter store parameter called JIRA password, which we'll use as a parameter as input to my CloudFormation stack. Our other prerequisite is to ensure that default encryption is not turned on for new EBS volumes. After all, we are trying to create an unencrypted EBS volume to create this JIRA issue. So to start, we'll take a look at the parameters that we'll provide as input to our CloudFormation template. We have some supporting files that are needed in S3, and so we'll provide a bucket location and a prefix for CloudFormation to find those files. We also have a username for JIRA. The username we'll be using to create the JIRA issue and the URL for the JIRA instance that we'll be connecting to, along with the project key for the issues we'll be creating. The JIRA password I referenced earlier in Systems Manager, this is a reference to the Systems Manager parameter as opposed to the actual password itself. And then the type of issue we're gonna be creating in JIRA. So we have all that information in a text file. So now we will create the CloudFormation stack. I like to copy into Notepad while I change the values to fit where I'll be running from. Create your issues.json is the name we have. And then I made a demo parameters file with the files I just showed you. And then we'll give our stack a name. And then I have a profile set up with my access key and secret access key credentials that we'll be using to run this command. So let's copy that into our clipboard and go over to the command prompt. We'll go to our create JIRA issues folder and issue our command. So now CloudFormation create stack call return to stack ID, telling us that it's now creating that stack. So let's take a look at what we're building. This is all triggered off a CloudWatch event, which looks for when EBS volumes are created. And then that triggers a Lambda function, which tells us whether or not uh, the volume that was created is encrypted. If it is unencrypted, we'll put it on a queue to query CloudTrail later and identify which volume was created and what instance is associated with and what account it's in. And if it meets our criteria, then we'll go ahead and send an alert and create a JIRA issue using the AWS Systems Manager automation document. So let's wait for that uh, stack to create, and then we will create an unencrypted EBS volume. Now that we've created our CloudFormation stack, let's use Systems Manager to find the latest AMI ID to create our EC2 instance with an unencrypted EBS volume. We have an AWS CLI call to get that parameter. I'll paste it in Notepad to replace values with our region, which in this case is GovCloud West. And we'll run it with my profile. We'll copy this command back into the command prompt and run it. And you see that command returns us an AMI ID, which we can use to create our instance. So we will take this run instances command. And use the AMI ID from our response. In the image ID field. And then we'll choose an instance type. So we'll copy that command and use it to create an EBS, an unencrypted EBS volume. So now that our instance is creating, we'll wait for our solution to uh, run through the Lambda functions and SQS queues uh, that we mentioned in the diagram, and we'll check JIRA to see if we have an unencrypted EBS volume issue. Now that we've created an EC2 instance with an unencrypted EBS volume, let's check JIRA to confirm an issue was created. 
Here you can see our systems manager automation document has created a JIRA issue telling us which volume is unencrypted, which instance it belongs to, and which account it belongs to. This will help anybody who's assigned the task of resolving this issue aware of where to go to solve the problem. We can also verify that the instance ID shown here, ending in E7, matches the instance ID that was returned when we created our EBS volume. Right here. Thank you for watching our video on how to create JIRA issues upon creation of unencrypted EBS volumes. Be sure to check out the other videos in our series on continuous monitoring and GovCloud.